My name is Gary Golden. I'm a professional futurist based in Brooklyn, New York. So it's very difficult to bring about the change you want to see in the world uh, uh, in your community. So the natural momentum of the, the world is to embrace uh, business as usual. So in order for arts educators to uh, have a future uh, that's different from today, they need to be able to communicate a vision that's compelling enough to move people forward in a different direction. It cannot simply be the same uh, arts vision uh, uh, that's existed in the past. So what I think the arts community uh, needs to do is find ways to clearly communicate a vision of the uh, value of arts experiences uh, that sounds and looks very different from the past. We are in the very early stages of self-directed learning and one of the things that people expect to play a central role in this future is the emergence of what we call learning management systems or LMS. And what learning management systems do uh, is serve as that personal centralized uh, archive of all of our work. We can imagine a future in which young people will learn to manage their uh, portfolio of lifelong learning through this learning management system. So if they are in class and have a particular assignment, that will be uh, kept and tested through the learning management system. If they then read an article or watch a video on television related to that same subject, that learning can also be integrated into the learning management system. So it's a very fluid and dynamic world, uh, but we do expect that learning will be web-based and that all of our consumption of media uh, will have some sort of uh, connection to this central learning management system. And that's a very difficult concept for people to get their head around, much like the idea of a social network would have confused people 10 years ago. Uh, to, to say in 2000 to a young person, over the next 10 years, you're going to learn how to manage your identity and manage your relationships and share with people uh, 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 on these social networks would have led to a glazed look in their eye. And that same transition is occurring around learning management systems. Uh, we have not been taught how to manage our own learning. And, and learning management systems are expected to become the uh, platform uh, for uh, uh, young people uh, and older people as well. So one of the outputs of, of self-directed and online learning is that we have a tremendous amount of data being produced, uh, data uh, about process, data about our different learning styles uh, and outputs and outcomes. And when we think about the future of data, we need to imagine that there is a value chain associated with it. The lowest form of data, uh, the lowest value form of data is descriptive. It's data about what has happened. And this is, ironically, the most widely used form of data in the world of education and learning is descriptive, what happened in the past. Looking to the future, the most valuable forms of data are predictive and prescriptive. Prescriptive data is the one that arts educators need to start thinking about. So what is prescriptive data? It's, it's, the, it's the data that tells you, uh, based on what you've said you like, this is what you should probably do next. It's like Netflix or Amazon. If you liked that movie, if you liked that book, try this. It's what we call the recommendation economy. So for teachers to only operate in a world where they use descriptive data to describe what happened uh, is quite limited and not as relevant to the future. So teachers that are able to use prescriptive data systems where they know what students like and are then able to offer them the next part of the experience that is specific to that person's passion points, that's where innovation is going to happen in arts education. So if you loved that performance, if you loved that one particular moment in the play, that one piece in the, in the musical performance, go over to this performance and focus on that. It's the same thing. Think about an arts experience. We have teachers that will deliver an arts experience and then uh, they'll have a moment where they can gauge the, uh, the feeling, uh, the impact on the students in the classroom. But what about when the student leaves the classroom and goes home and talks to their parents about it? What about when they're talking with their friends about it on the way home? None of that uh, uh, emotional data, that sentiment is analyzed.
none of that sentiment is captured. So when we move into a future that is more transparent, uh, and again, needs to have its, its, its boundaries for privacy, uh, but as we move towards this more transparent future, what type of sentiment analysis tools will arts educators use? What type of sentiment analysis tools can we use to improve the quality uh, of the experience for students over the next decade? If, if, if I'm an arts educator looking at the future and what I might need to do in terms of curriculum, it is building in not just a traditional survey, but building in more uh, capture opportunities to understand sentiment. So how do you design curriculum uh, around uh, this capture of sentiment? That is a critical question specific to a set of tools, but also in terms of a strategy uh, around curriculum design. Web-based uh, uh, tools are very cheap to build, they're very easy to use, and they're very realistic. So you can imagine that the, the spreading of tablets will mean that teachers are going to need to not just photocopy a fixed paper curriculum page into the tablet, they're going to need to rethink the entire page itself. So the role of, of, of software in creating very dynamic uh, curriculum experiences on these tablets uh, will require arts educators to learn more about those technologies. It's not a simple transfer of you know, physical into digital. You can design curriculum experiences in a different way. So the, the, the future of, of a self-directed learning uh, world uh, will have a fantastic role for teachers in schools. Uh, but I think it's one that will be different. And, and many people have, have spoken about this uh, transition as one from being the sage on the stage, the, the vessel of knowledge, to more of a facilitator and a guide. So uh, teachers today that have gone through their own academic training have been instructed on the art of being that vessel of knowledge, certainly with uh, skills around classroom management, uh, uh, and, they, and they naturally, I think, bring a guide mentality. Uh, but the dynamics of being a guide and a facilitator in the digital age are very different from the past. And it's going to require teachers to uh, learn how to navigate a world of, of uh, students uh, that's more transparent, accountable, and automated. So it's likely that software will help in uh, much of the mundane uh, elements of teaching, so the grading and all of the things that teachers spend their time on today will likely be handled through some sort of software system. Two jobs for the future of teachers in this digital landscape in this world of self-directed learning. One is to know the tools. Teachers are going to become, uh, need to become more uh, uh, educated themselves on the whole landscape of tools. Uh, they don't need to pick winners, they don't need to become uh, masters of the tools, but they need to understand the options that the young people can find on, them, on their own. So if young people can go out and find that tool, the teacher needs to know what that tool can do. And then the other thing that teachers need to be able to do is uh, build that bridge from that one particular arts experience to another arts experience, or that arts experience to a real world creative professional experience. So if someone is interested in mixing music, the teacher needs to be able to say, the same set of tools exist for creating visual communication. And how about you look at uh, a future in which you could be a graphic uh, designer or a user experience designer using these types of tools. That will be the role of the teacher.